A once vacant house in Markham, Ontario, is the first of many to be converted into affordable housing to help the country's homeless population. The team at the, not, the nonprofit Blue Door plans to find vacant homes to use so people who are homeless have more than emergency shelters to rely on. The CEO at Blue Door, Michael Brathwaite, joins me this morning. Michael, great to talk to you. It's a tremendous project, which started when you contacted Parks Canada after hearing they'd inherited land with 44 vacant buildings. Tell me what happened next. Well, when we talked to Parks Canada about maybe renting out one of these homes, they said that uh, they didn't have the capital to fix the homes. So then we worked together on a deal where we would raise the capital through the reaching home strategy and through foundations. And uh, then if we'd raise that capital, that would buy us 20 years of uh, rent-free living. And then we could rent it out to a family in need once we've done, once we uh, actually had the renovations complete. And where it could be affordable to them for uh, three to five years. So, well, th th that was going to be my next question. What does that mean? How do you determine the rent rate? Well, it suggested that no one should ever pay more than 30% of their household income towards rent. So that's where we set the bar. Uh, we find families in need, and it's not just about housing. We wrap supports around them, whether it be health or employment, and we look at that 30% mark uh, for them. So it will be different uh, for every family that goes into the building. There are uh, a number of options and services available to, uh, to people experiencing homelessness. What makes this one unique? When you surveyed the landscape, what did you, where did you find a gap? Well, Ben, I don't think there's one way. There's, there's many paths into homelessness. Uh, unfortunately, fewer paths out. So we have to be innovative. This is innovative and it's cost effective. We're taking an existing asset. We're giving it new purpose. Um, we're actually able to put people to work. So a group called Building Up went in there and employed 20 people to fix the home. They're now launched into the trades, being lifted out of poverty. Um, so everyone wins on this. And there's a bunch of these around the building, especially with the second wave of COVID. This gives us the opportunity to get affordable housing, build it quickly and affordably to, so people can stay safe in their own homes. It, it seems to me like this is an idea that, could, that can scale. Um, and and uh, it, uh, do, you, do you have plans to take this to, to bigger, to other cities and, and around the country? Well, we work with a group called uh, Raising the Roof as well, Blue Door does, and they've scaled this a bit throughout the country, but absolutely it's scalable. There's thousands of vacant homes, whether they're owned by developers or they're owned by Parks Canada or the Toronto Region Conservation Area. We've seen it done. Uh, it's, it can be done quickly. Again, it's affordable. It puts people to work, and most importantly, it houses people in need. The pandemic, as we know, has created a huge financial strain on Canada's nonprofit sector. Uh, you do, as you said, have plans to build more affordable housing using vacant properties. Th th there's less and less money out there for charitable donations. Where are you going to get the resources to accomplish this? Well, I think you can do two things. You can complain uh, about the lack of money. There may never be enough money, but it's where you take, where you get that, that limited amount of money, where you put it into projects like this, where $100,000 can buy you 20 years of housing. So you work with foundations, you work with government, uh, and show that taxpayers' money is being used uh, in a very, very smart way moving forward. And you work with community as well. Sometimes those homes are donated, uh, so, so the costs uh, are saved there as well. The organization is Blue Door. Michael, congratulations on all the hard work and the success, and uh, we hope you continue with it. Thanks so much for joining us and sharing your story. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.